Bet he makes a mean tight end. Promise me you'll let me be the one to teach Lil Wade the drums. Of course, pal. Okay, Wade, I need your help, and it's urgent. Magnolia has taken up with a cretin of a rodeo clown, and I need you to teach him one of your famous lessons in civility. Look. I mean, all guys are creeps at that age. So, I don't want this creep anywhere near my sister. How am I supposed to find him? He will be coming here in an hour. I told him you will give him free beer, which you will, non-alcoholic, and you will subtly convince him to leave town while Magnolia and I had dinner with our father. God, life was so much simpler before you and I became friends. Thank you. So, you work for the rodeo, huh? That must be cool. Ride the horses, meet the ladies. You know how it is. Oh, I know how it is, yeah. But uh, you got a girlfriend now. Maybe it's time you reform. What girlfriend are you referring to exactly? Uh, Magnolia Breland. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, she's not my girlfriend. We're just having fun. Does she know that? I'm 17 years old. I look like this. I'm gonna live the life I was meant to. Yeah, well, listen, Chet. You're gonna live the life I let you live. And that means staying far, far away from Magnolia. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> old man? Old man? Listen, you arrogant, obnoxious little... Why are you staring at me? That ain't cool. I mean, you creep me out. Don't move. What's going on? Zoe, I am freaking out. Uh, about what? Well, I just met Chet, Magnolia's little boyfriend, this cocky, annoying little bastard thinks he's God's gift to women because he rides bulls at the rodeo. I have a feeling I know where you're going with this. Zoe, he's me. He's younger me. And we have to raise one of those. And what with Crazy Earl and your absent father, no offense. None taken. We don't have any role models. Zoe, don't you see? Our son's going to be a grade A butt yank. Yes, thank you for pointing out what I already knew this morning. I have to go, okay? Wait, I'm... Um...